Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Breath of Fire 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we can't really do much in town except talk to some people. This here uses Chrism to shine like that. Pretty nifty, huh? I won't lie, that does seem pretty nifty to me. Nothing to do. I'm sure there is. There's lots to do. Like, be kids, enjoy your childhood. Looking for someone? Hmm, I know what that is. You're playing hide and seek, right? I never said that. And they all just stop. Okay, you're it. You have to try and find us. Alright. This does not remind you of the bomber kids in Majora's Mask. Let's go look for them. You're looking for Tipo, right, Bonga? Oh, and Ray. And he's a kid too, right? So maybe these kids will know something about him, right? I guess. So, let's go look for them. Look for those damn kids. I didn't want to be found. Now I have to be it. Wah! Hey, eh, that's life for you. It ain't always about what you want. Sometimes it's, you're just not going to get your way all the time. That's how it is. We might as well just check, like, every hidden area, and they're not going to be inside. I never thought anyone could find me here. Well, they did. You didn't do a damn good job at hiding, apparently. Whoops! <laughs> you got me. Yes, I did. I believe the fourth one should be around here in the cafe. In fact, huh, you guys didn't even try. Well, how'd you find me? I rotated my camera, that's how. No, I'm not breaking the fourth wall. You found everyone? Wow, you're pretty good at this game. Thanks. Now maybe you can help us. We're looking for some friends of ours. Well, mine. They're not your friends. Have you seen them? Hmm, well, a little while ago, a robber broke into that house over there. And that robber was a kid about your size. And what happened to that kid? What happened? He got beat up by the owner of the house and took off. I think maybe he went down the road. What do you think, Bonga? Could it be Tipo? I can try. Thanks. We'll try looking there. Come on, Bonga. Okay. Okay, well that's the inoculation place. We don't need to go there. But we'll keep that in mind for later, because that does seem like a very interesting thing to take advantage of at a certain point. But for now, I think we should just move on. I'll probably go check, check out the other part of Windia. Like, we don't want to go back to the catacombs, that's a given. That place sucks ass. Well, and we pretty much found everything. Okay, this looks like some kind of bakery over here. Wee! I always come here to get the fresh croissants! I don't know why you talk with a French accent. Croissants never even came from France. Don't be touching everything with your dirty hands now. We're making food here. Actually, the machine is kind of making food. This is an oven for baking bread. We use the windmills for power to break the bread. Oh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Man, I feel bad for people that can't get a job here because the machine's doing everything. Moxa! What does that do? Let's find out. Oh, it's a lot easier to just hit R1. Raises users' willpower. That could be good to know. I'll look into that later. You're pretty much wondering, Bongo, why aren't you just using your stat-up items right now? Because, what if I get other party members that can benefit from them more? But with the bad harvest and all, we've had a hard time getting good flour for the bread. Oh, speaking of flour, I mean, I, I move so much of that in my own work. Luckily, it's not by myself, though, but... 25 or 20 kilogram bags are pretty damn heavy, all things considered. I think that's how much they weigh. We're able to make all the bread because we have the cats to catch the mice for us. 
Yep, it's all thanks to Kaz. I just stare at the machine. Now, I, I la don't go in that machine, Cat. We Windians aren't afraid of high places. Probably because our ancestors were able to fly, I guess. Well, in other Breath of Fire games, like 1 and 2, when you go to the town Windia, most of the people there have wings. Like Nina in Breath of Fire 2 was, well, considered a bad omen because she was born with black wings. Like there was some kind of legend in their town that any child born with black wings in the royal family was considered a bad omen. And the king and queen denied her existence because, well, they would have to kill her if they knew. Goods and travelers come from all around to Windia. Isn't a big city exciting? Well, it's exciting until you get lost. Which thankfully has not happened to us. You say you're looking for someone? I haven't heard any news of travelers coming recently. That's because you're just staring over there. This is Castle Windia. Yeah, why can't you let us in? The princess is with me. Isn't she supposedly missing? Why is the castle built on such a high place? It's said that it dates back to the days when our ancestors could fly. Or maybe you just want to watch people? Could be that too. When you look at them real close, pigeons are kind of scary. I mean, like the way their eyes are so vacant, and how your brain is vacant, besides those are doves, not pigeons. Looking out like this makes you want to travel, doesn't it? But you need the king's permission to cross the bridge. You know, maybe these these are they are pigeons, probably, just pegging at the ground, looking for bird seed and whatnot, or seeds of any kind. Did you know that ducks actually don't like bread? That's bad for their digestion. I'm sorry, I don't work here. I came out from the cafe to buy something. Then why haven't you? Kids are lucky. Get to run around playing all day. Uh, what are you bitching about? You make money, they don't. They have to rely on allowance, and if the parents are poor, then they ain't getting shit either. We use wheat from McNeil Village to make the bread, here? That doesn't mean it's especially good or anything, but... Wow, huh. Shots fired, Chef Boy RD. Kim, okay, stealing their bread, and I have no shame about it. Fresh baked bread right here. Step right up. I love how the machine just stops because you need to buy something. It's like time stands still when you're thinking about a purchase, which right now there's very little options. It's not even different. They don't even give you like descriptions for like different kinds of bread. Like maybe you want whole wheat, or maybe you want good hearth, sovatol, etc., etc. But that's all there is. <laughs> The head baker here is pretty famous. They say people come from all over just for his bread. I don't know what you're just pointing at, but sometimes there's just no bread there. How about going to play with your friends? Instead of hanging around this old man. Hey Dora. No, I want to play with Grandpa! He's old, and if you just keep working him up like that, he's gonna die faster. Fresh baked bread for sale! It's delicious! It costs 20 zennies. I don't really care for that. Okay, well, the trendy area of Windy is actually not bad. Oh, there's a dog there. So, that's pretty much everything you can do in this part of Windia. We did all we need to do. So, I think it's time for us to leave. Let's get... Oh, don't want to leave that way. That leads back to the catacombs. Bad vibes there. Unless you want to level up, that's entirely your business. But for now, I just want to move on. So let us do that. Besides, we got to explore. And is that the most important thing to do? Okay, there is a hut over there that I wish I could go to, but it looks like I can't. Okay, that's pretty neat. The primary road connecting East and West Windia. Okay. Oh, there's something over that way. Is there some kind of secret passage? Hmm. 
It's always good to explore the world map. Okay, that's a strange looking hut over here. Let me check behind it. Might find some good stuff. Oh, hi. What do you want? Me? I don't know anything. Nope, not a thing. I'm just a little guy in a little town. If you really want... I suppose I can teach you some of the useless tricks I know. Do you want me to? Yeah? Okay. Looks like you're serious then. I don't have much to teach, but I'll give him my best shot. You know, why don't you go to Nina? Very well then. From this moment, I, Durandal, make you, Nina, my apprentice. Is there anyone else who wants to apprentice with me? No. Until we meet again. Okay, there's nothing there on that book. Let me check down here. Okay. This looks very high tech. But it looks like I can't do anything with it, so... Well, keep that in mind and come back later. But I have a feeling it's gonna do something really good. And there's probably another one in another part of town. Or the world, rather. So we'll look into that another time. For now, well, I guess we can just check out one of these areas. Like around here. I love how we're just in a field even though we were right between some walls. Okay, Tarman is back. But since we have someone that can cast ice magic, this guy's not gonna stand a chance. And now he's frozen solid. So with that, now we can actually kill this dude. There we go. Oh, Nina's so close to leveling up, too. Okay, there's supposed to be some kind of satchel around here. Oh, I found a sinker. That's cool. That's just more bait. Too bad there's no areas around here that I can fish. I miss that. I want to go fishing again. Those are good times. Well, likely we already got double blow, but it's on Nina, unfortunately. Would have rather that on my main character, but... Eh, I can always use skill ink. I think I would rather wait until much later, though. Okay, we'll go see Durandal later on once we get some more level ups for Nina. But for now, I think we should check out another hidden area. There's one right here. I like that part of the game where, like, you don't have to worry about wandering on the world map. Like, the world is your oyster, literally. So you can just wander around. Vodka shot? Okay, these are kids, and those kids apparently are gonna be drinking potato liquor. Great. That's something to teach the kids. Apparently, you can raise your power in battle with it. Yeah, that's a nice message to the kids. Like, alcohol will make you stronger in battle. God. The things you'll learn in this game. I guess that's what makes it so appealing. Also, let's head over to Ignac Rock. This is the entrance to the road. There's a small hut over there. Let's go and see what the owner has to say. I agree with you because you look at me. Alright, so we got a Ripper and two Igoos. I should have used Jolt instead as Nina, but oh well. These enemies are pretty much small fries anyway. Wow, so they can hit us, and they do zero damage. They're that weak. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a breeze. Can we actually ignore the hut? We can. 
So if we want to, we can pretty much go this way instead. So I think we'll do that. You know, like, take advantage of the ability to explore. We'll come back to that hut later. Unless we're forced to go to the hut. Which, if we are, like, why even allow us to go this far? If you're just gonna send us back. Like, seriously, don't do that game. Make us go all this way and then force us to return. But we'll see. Because I do want to go fishing to call it an episode. Really? You, you could have just told me that before we passed the hut. Why didn't you do that? Now we have to go to the hut. Okay, I'm going to talk to them, but apparently Nina's not with me. Hey, Granny! Another little visitor! Oh my! Ho 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 ho! I'm gonna pilfer your house before I see what's going on with Nina. Thanks, bye! Bunga! Don't try anything, my little lizard friend. What did you call me? Good move. You see... There's no use resisting, punk. We don't really care about you anyway. Then why do you go through this much trouble? But things would get messy. If you read it on a C, we can't chance that. But it'd be even messier if we tried to kill you here, and you turned into a dragon again. Don't worry. We've got it all figured out, see? Enough talk. Say good night. I just went down, and then you kicked me in the face. That's rude. Okay, so where do we end up going to then? Looks like some kind of era town, Genmel, or Genmel. Huh, that dog creature was... Hey, it's Bo from Breath of Fire 1 and Sten! What are they talking about? I swear that dude that beat me up in part 1 looks like Ox. The pub fouls. Okay, Fowl. They're all yours. I just gotta keep an eye on them, right? Yeah, just keep your eyes on them. And your hands off the bottle, okay? Got better things to do than worry about a couple of kids. Thanks a lot, Fowl. Okay, brats. You'll get yours once the contest is over. For now, just stay here and behave yourselves, okay? You better take it easy too, Gar. The contest's coming up, you know. Contest? Is it like a coliseum? Oh, and he drinks right away. Manga, are you all right? If only we could get out of these ropes. Chew through them? I don't think so. They're too thick. <laughs> That's what she said. Wow! How did you do that? Dental plan. You've been all the way through them! That's amazing, Bonga! Now maybe we can get out of here! Yeah, might want to be safe here. Looks like they're gone! That guy named Fowl's here, but it looks like he's had too much to drink. If we're quiet, he might not notice us. We'll be okay as long as we're careful. Let's go! Be very, very quiet. As long as he's drinking, he's not gonna have a care in the world. I hope we're going under the table, because it looks like Gar can stare right at us. Hey! 
Where do you think you're going? Uh, none of your business? Uh, nowhere. We're not going anywhere. Nowhere? That's right. We'll be seeing you. Oh, I want to go back and talk to him. We made it, Bonga. I knew we could do it. Okay, let's get out of here before he wakes up. Aww. But he seemed like a nice dude, even though he seemed like a bumbling idiot. Okay, so why don't we get a chance to explore this town? I came here hoping to have a go with Fowl. But he's drunk as usual. There are people who come here hoping to have Fowl show him how to fight. If I was them, though... I study under a thief. Why? Because you learn how to move real quick. And how to steal stuff, right? Well, I, I definitely like that approach. Valio and Sunder? They won't be here for a while. They're busy getting ready for the contest. Why? Need to see them about something? No, we, we just want to avoid them. Oh, time out. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue on here. So, why don't we do a little bit of exploring? I think we should go down here next. Oh, there's this guy. I'm not goofing off. I'm handing out flyers. Here. Um, okay. I got a flyer. Apparently, from what I heard, flyers can give you discounts at the shops. Can't say much for the clientele, but... These shops have got everything. Everything, eh? Yep, you get a discount. Awesome. Okay, too bad I can't really afford anything here. But I guess I can always come back once I get more money. And I will get more money eventually. It's just a matter of time. I guess I could get a glass domino. Uh, maybe not. I think I'll save my money. Yes, I know. Stop reminding me. Okay? And none of these items are that spectacular. I bet you're trying to charge extra because of all the people. You don't know that. Charging extra for the contest? What makes you think I would do something like that? Who do you think I am, Balio? Uh, Balio is a bit of a jerk. But, yeah, I guess there would be a good reason to charge extra, because, I mean, well, you get more money because there's more demand. Yeah, right. Doesn't matter what it is. As long as it involves gambling, you're excited. It's the thrill of the fight, see? That's why I'm excited. Um, good for you. Genwell's famous for the contest. We get people from all over who come here to fight. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. I saved up working in the mines to come here. Just to see the contest of champions. I wonder what kind of fights they'll have this year. I can't believe I'm lost. I lost. What am I going to do now? I don't know. Just get that winning attitude back, I suppose. Alright, so where exactly can we go? Well, we can battle if we wanted to, but we don't really want to. Not yet. Okay, Mount Boomore, or Bowmore. We can go there if we wanted to, but let's do that later. Make his gorge. Okay, where's that area? Hold on. There's a fishing spot! Oh yeah! Fishing! This is gonna be the way I wanna end this episode. Alright, so, is there any Manilos here? I think this is the gear I want. I don't, I don't think there's any Manilos, though. It looks like there's a lot of new fish. The more new fish I get, the better points I get. You don't want floats, really? Come on, they taste good. Oh, oh. Come on, give up. Give up. 
Okay, I think that's a trout, or a rainbow trout. Caught this one before, but it could be a bigger one. Come on! Come on! Yes! Yeah, it's a rainbow trout. Okay, so... no new points. So let's try again. I'm sorry, I just find fishing so addicting in this game. And plus, the more points you get, the higher your rank, and the higher your rank, the better stuff you get. And who can pass that up? This is a fun way to pass the time, unless you want to, like, level grind and train. You can do that, too. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Ugh. That's probably another rainbow trout. Oh well. Let me cast one more time, but I'll use like a different kind of bait. And... done. 48 centimeters, not bad. Not great either, but... Um... It's a sinker. Okay, let's try a toad. It's a little different. Alright, Froggy, you're gonna have to go and make me proud. Ooh, I want that big fish over there. Get a good rhythm going. Oh, wow. It's hard to get high techniques, because you need a good rhythm. Oh, no, no, go over here. Yep, yep, there you go. You like Toad, don't ya? You play as him in Super Mario Bros. 2 all the time. Come on. That's it. It doesn't even look like it's in its mouth. It looks like it's on its back. Ah, it's a bass. Okay. Kick his ass, sea bass! I think that's gonna be enough for this episode. So, why don't we stop the video right here, and in the next part, we'll probably do a little bit more stuff around here. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.